An Iowa Board of Pharmacy Committee today was listening to debate over reclassifying marijuana in the state. Mark Tauschek was there. Mark. Reclassifying marijuana from Schedule 1 highly abused drugs with no medical use to Schedule 2 drugs that have medical use could be a step toward legalizing medicinal marijuana production and distribution in the state. That's the next step. Proponents want to be taken to allow them to utilize a new state law that currently they cannot. Last year, the Iowa legislature approved a limited law allowing possession of cannabis oil for people with severe epilepsy. But when medical marijuana cards are handed out early next year, the cards will not provide protection from prosecution in other states or on a federal level for trying to transport or mail the cannabis oil. We'll basically be unable to access any high CBD oil, low THC, anywhere in the United States. So I'm not sure what we will do with the card. Proponents will be lobbying legislators to take the next step to allow production and distribution of medical marijuana in Iowa. Today, a special marijuana review committee heard comments before deciding if they will recommend reclassifying marijuana to the Iowa Board of Pharmacy later this week. A board member with Drug Free Iowa says such a move would send a mixed message to younger Iowans. CBD oil and THC oil is very hard to discern. That using an e-cigarette is a very easy way to consume them and that we see an ever-increasing amount of children using marijuana, using electronic cigarettes. Another group will be lobbying for more diseases and ailments to be included in addition to epilepsy. This woman says she wants to be able to treat her cancer with cannabis oil. I have four kids that I have to be here for, with my youngest that just turned eight. I have to be here. I have got to do anything in my power to live. That committee will make their recommendation on whether or not to reclassify marijuana to the Iowa Board of Pharmacy on Wednesday. The board will then either agree, disagree, or table for further analysis. Of course, the legislature and governor have the final say. Live in the newsroom, Mark Tasha, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.